Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to uh, demonstrate for this video uh, just something I've been doing for the last couple of weeks as I sort of get more into this YouTube channel, picking up more subscribers, getting a little bit more comments uh, from people watching these videos, which is always really, really nice. And uh, just trying to sort of manage the channel a bit more professionally and keep track of what's going on with it. So there are a few things that I think the YouTube standard YouTube appearance doesn't do the best job at making accessible to people and which I think might be useful for uh, creators to keep on top of. Therefore, what I've done is um, essentially just created bookmarks and I just bookmarked them in my browser and therefore I can kind of easily access them. So this is the, the homepage of YouTube, which is you know very familiar to anyone who spends a lot of time on here. And you know you can do a lot from this you can jump into your youtube studio you can jump into the your channel page uh you can change over to your other accounts if you have them um but there are a couple of things that i think as i say would be would be, it, it's a pity that it's not easier to access them right so here are um a couple of those um so firstly the, the your comment history so to google this um i googled my comment history Looks like the real way to get to it is myactivity.google.com and then I'm sure in here you'll be able to audit your activity by service. Now, what you're gonna get here is a list of your comments that you've left on other YouTube videos. Now, um, I've just pulled up my main comments feed, so it's some of my, my own comments that I've left on my, like responding to comments on my videos, so these are my own ones. In other instances, it's comments I've just left throughout YouTube because I do, spend a good bit of time watching other people's YouTube content and if I enjoy it, I engage with it and say that was funny or that was great or thank you. So um, the reason just going through this periodically might make sense just to make sure you're not leaving anything that you're gonna later regret because if you do the, do do leave comments on YouTube as your brand account, the one that has associated with your channel is it, well, you're kind of representing your channel every time you comment on another person's channel. Therefore, um, again, it might be good to just go through it and just see, well, oh, that wasn't the best thing or like this isn't a great comment, so I can just go and uh, delete this comment. So I'm not going to delete this comment, but that's it makes it very easy to go through these comments in bulk. The second thing I think should be easier to access on YouTube, and it isn't, is your YouTube subscription manager. Now, please leave me a comment if there is a really easy way to find this that I'm not seeing. Um, the URL is pretty straightforward, YouTube slash feed slash channels. And the reason I mentioned this as part of this kind of YouTube upkeep URL thing is because if you show your subscriptions to your followers, then they're gonna be able to see this. Now, I have no problem with any of this stuff. I'm, I'm, open, I'm open about my ADHD diagnosis, but you know, it could be conceivable that you subscribe to a channel and you forgot about that setting being turned on and then you're like inadvertently showing all these mental health channels you're subscribed to and anybody who views your YouTube channel could see it. So I think this is a really important URL. Now, um, on the main YouTube page, there is uh, this button that says subscriptions and it takes you to like a feed, but you can see it's actually a different URL, right? YouTube slash feed slash channels. Sorry, you can't you can see the URL here, but let me, let me just put it up and with the caveat, it's only current at the date, or at the date I'm recording this. YouTube slash feed cha slash channels is this one. YouTube slash feed slash subscriptions is what you get to when you uh, click on the subscriptions button on the homepage of your YouTube channel. And this one is, is fine, it shows you your, but it, I think it's designed that if you subscribe to channels, you can watch the, the latest videos are putting out. You can order it, you can order it by um, this grid. So a, this is a very useful feature. You subscribe to channels, they put up videos, you can, ca you can catch all of them. Or you can do the list, but it still doesn't allow you to go in and manage them. Now there is also this subscriptions thing on the side. I subscribe to quite a lot of channels <coughs> from this brand account, but I can still sort of get onto a few. If I click on browse channels, I can get suggestions for other channels I might want to access, but I have a really hard time getting to this URL through YouTube. Now, perhaps it's somewhere else and I'm being really stupid, but in any event, bookmark that and I would recommend going through it, just making sure that if you are showing your YouTube URL, uh, your YouTube subscriptions, and I'll show you how to check that, that you're not inadvertently showing anything you don't want to be visible. 
Now, as promised, I said I would uh, just also show how to see that. So you actually go into the account setting page and that can be settings for a brand account or for your actual Google account. And there's this uh, privacy layer here on the left in the settings and there are two toggles. One is for keep all my saved playlists private. So if you save a playlist, not the same thing as creating one, you can show that or hide it. And this is the second one, keep all my subscriptions private. So you can click that and then uh, your subscriptions won't be visible to others or you can hide that. And it says here, learn more about what could make your subscriptions visible here. So if you have that, I recommend if you're a YouTube channel. Now I'm, sh I'm gonna just explain why all this stuff matters, all this little detail. Click on your channel and it's, you know, do this in, uh, in guest mode just to make sure that you're signed out. I'm not doing that, but click on channels and you will see subscriptions and therefore it's quite prominent. Now I'm just repeating the process from guest mode so I'm not signed into any YouTube account including my own one here. I go to my YouTube URL and there I'm welcomed by my, my homepage, videos, which is my all my uploads, playlists, the playlists I've created and channels. Now this is what anyone can see. Anyone who goes to your YouTube page can see this and there is a big old list of subscriptions there. So again, um, I think it's important to, and they can click onto it and see all the YouTube channels you're subscribed to. So you see what I mean. This looks like not a big deal until you see the combination of not having that um, setting set to private and not periodically going through your YouTube subscriptions. And you can see how easy as a regular YouTube user it would be to forget to change out of your brand account, to sign up to some, I don't know, private YouTube channel about mental health. You didn't want other people seeing and then they would be populating in your channels list and very easy to see for anybody. Okay, so there's just one more uh, URL I recommend bookmarking or a few more URLs and that is the channel content filter. So if you go into your YouTube um, creator studio and click on content, you're gonna get this big list of all your videos up on YouTube. Now, I've just added a visibility public filter, but before I did that, let me just take that off. There is no filter and you can see there's a couple of unlisted uh, videos I have up on this channel, etc., etc. And if I go and add title, sorry, if I go and add uh, visibility and set that to public, and click apply, this will show me all the videos that are actually listed and publicly accessible on my YouTube channel. And this is a filter that I'm using constantly. Now, when I added the visibility public uh, filter, it changed the URL appearing in the Omnibox. And therefore, now, yeah, you're right, it's gonna save a few seconds, but if you're doing this multiple times per day, um, I recommend bookmarking this in your Chrome bookmarks. And um, let me actually do that now. And that way you'll be able to say, um, I thought I just did this. Apparently it uh, changed. So my YouTube account, public, sorry, let's just say YouTube, YouTube video manager, public videos and click done. And now if you're using Chrome, you can type that into the um, Omnibar and get quickly redirected to uh, your channel manager that will come with those filters um, already applied. So you don't need to go through that because you can use multiple filters. You can filter by length. So you, let's say you're frequently filtering on public videos longer than 10 minutes. Well, you can add both those filters and then bookmark that URL and um, have that saved in your browser. And that will save you, if you do that frequently, could save you a bit of time every day. Thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. Hope it was useful to you. Uh, if you'd like to get more videos from me, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.